I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link as today marks, uh, you know, day one of a stretch of unsettled weather that lasts now through at least Saturday night. It gets raw and chilly this afternoon. Uh, had some occasional showers and drizzle, and that'll continue tonight. Uh, the only upside with the weather, I would say, the next couple of days, both Friday and Saturday, should be a lot warmer, noticeably warmer and more humid, especially away from the uh, coastline. The, uh, the milder temperatures, both... Uh, Friday and Saturday should be well into uh, the 60s. So, yeah, looking at damp weather, whether it be fog or drizzle, then at times some steadier and heavier rain now through at least uh, Saturday night. And at times it's just light precipitation, other times some heavier rain. I think the best chance for heavier showers would be Friday evening, Friday night into Saturday. The wind picking up over the weekend, actually both um, Friday and Saturday, uh, turning up more humid. Some gusty southerly winds will bring in mild temperatures, high humidity. We're going to be watching the uh, high tide cycles next um, a couple of days. There may be some minor coastal flooding, some astronomical high tides. Uh, Easter weekend, um, well, certainly Saturday looks wet. Uh, we are still cautiously optimistic uh, about Easter Sunday. There is a slight chance of a shower, but at this point it still looks like a mainly dry day. Not nearly as uh, wet as what we're anticipating for Saturday. You know, perfect uh, setup, unfortunately, for some uh, locally dense fog to be forming later tonight through Friday and Saturday. We have very um, humid air on the way. When you take mild and humid air and you pass it over a, a cold surface like the ocean, which is still running uh, on the chilly side, uh, well, the net result, you start to have that humidity condense into low clouds and fog and drizzle. So this will be prevalent, especially along the, uh, the the coastline and near the ocean later tonight into Friday and Saturday. Some you know pretty high humidity levels for um, mid-April. I mean, the kind of humidity you expect during the summer season. So uh, a bit early, and that humidity will eventually promote uh, some heavier showers. Now this is a live picture from Easton's Beach in Newport. We're taping this as of uh, quarter of eight in the evening. And the arrows represent uh, the wind direction next uh, couple of days, Friday and Saturday. Kind of a strong onshore uh, wind from the south and southwest. So during the high tide cycles, <clears throat> there may be some minor coastal flooding. That's something that we'll watch uh, closely. And this is one reason why, uh, even though we're forecasting warm weather Friday and Saturday, this is the reason why the coastline should be cooler. I mean, the water's cold, and we'll have the wind off the water. So we're thinking the coast is going to end up being more like... Um, 55, 60, while uh, inland areas are more like uh, 65 to 70. Satellite and radar composite, I'm really not showing much in the way of widespread rain. I mean, we've got uh, little elements of, you know, some sprinkles and mist coming through. Uh, the steadier and heavier rain, you can clearly see it uh, lined up from the Great Lakes and all the way down through the uh, Gulf Coast. So the steadier rain, probably Friday evening, Friday night into Saturday, and then out ahead of it, it's either drizzle or just kind of sporadic uh, lighter rain showers and areas of fog. So we're tracking a warm front, this red line. It's the leading edge of warmer and more humid air. And as the front advances to the north and draws closer, we start to see more in the way of drizzle and fog later on this evening and during the overnight. Now behind that warm front, this green shading, which are the dew points indicating the the humid air that's uh, on the way for late tonight, especially Friday and Saturday. And that just helps to enhance the showers and the promotion of some fog. So we'll get in real close and we'll, we'll walk you through it uh, hour by hour. And you can see the little splotches of green indicating a mist and some drizzle. We advance the map overnight. Now notice the temperatures are actually going up rather than falling. So by at 7 o'clock in the morning, low clouds and fog, and temperatures are jumping to the upper 50s to low 60s. I don't expect any um, <coughs> excuse me, heavy rain during the morning, but rather mist and drizzle. And then notice as we get into the afternoon hours, the, the green starts to increase. Uh, shower chances starting to increase as well, especially Friday evening and Friday night. Look at the temperatures well into the 60s. A little cooler at the coastline, and then a widespread rain later Friday night. Uh, heavy at times, and that should spill over into uh, Saturday. And note the temperatures the next couple of days, even though we're forecasting warm weather or warmer weather, uh, you got to be inland. Uh, areas in orange, about 65, maybe even near 70, 
along the coastline. We mentioned the sea breeze, the low clouds, and the fog. It'll probably keep it more like 55 to 60. So damp uh, drizzle for this evening. And then for um, Friday morning, breezy, milder. It's already close to 60. Uh, fog and drizzle. And then scattered showers, breezy, humid. And a much milder Friday afternoon temps. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, in the upper 60s. There's a seven-day forecast. I would say uh, showers likely uh, Saturday, heavy at times, and uh, still holding out hope for uh, Easter Sunday. Cautiously optimistic here. Slight chance of a shower, but at this point, we're thinking uh, uh, mainly dry weather. So, unsettled uh, next several days. Uh, keep the umbrella on standby. Hopefully, I'll have my voice <laughs> uh, tonight at 10 or 11 o'clock for your next uh, update. So, uh, keep it here, and we'll be tracking those uh, rain showers for you.